Although it is legal to sell sex, every form of supporting a prostitute, every form of helping a prostitute to sell sex is illegal. I would support the model, the Swedish model for the United States, but I would want to ensure that all of the other pieces are in place, that there are things that they do in their law, intricacies that we don't have. The buyers are the, the feeders of, of human trafficking. As long as the buyers feed the traffickers with their money by buying sex, we will have a problem with this. That's not something that we have in the United States, that sex trafficking is wrong and that it's slavery. We, we can't even get everybody to agree on that. arrested the pimp and there were two girls inside and the first thing that the girls asked us uh, uh, was uh, are we getting arrested now and then they did like this huh. so we just sat w down with them and, mm. and explained <coughs> the Swedish legislation and th that we don't want them anything bad we want to help them out yeah. of this and it ended with that both of the girls gave their statement uh, telling us all about the pimp how they have been recruited in Poland and now they are both in shelters. You have to, to, to spend much time yeah. convincing them that uh, they really don't do any criminal act. This law was introduced in uh, the 1st of January uh, 1999 and the background to it was really a, a, a governmental investigation. It was called Operations Women, Women's Sanctuary. The investigation came to the conclusion that we shouldn't punish those who are uh, victims. That is wrong. We should help them. Here they've bought in in the community too. So there are social welfare programs, there are victim advocate programs, there are the government is bought in, the community is bought in, the judges, the prosecutors. I can say that the Swedish people think this is something good. We have about 80 percent that supports it and, and I mean th that, is, that is really good I would say. The critics had a lot of different arguments when we introduced the law. One of them was um, if you would uh, criminalize the buyer, it will go underground and we, you will not be able to find it. But we haven't seen that. The women in the indoor prostitution or the underground prostitution needs to advertise to find their clients. And, and if their clients can find the prostitutes, so can the police. We just sat down with them and we just explained everything, how it works, that we are not, we are not here to punish you, we are here because we want to help you. Um, and when we earned their trust, they told us everything about how they had been recruited in their home country, how they had been transported to Sweden. If we would have criminalized the selling, I'm sure they would have never spoken to us. We cannot punish the victims, we need to find other ways. Uh, to, to rescue them. I, I cannot think of any other uh, category of crime where we punish the victims. It would take a lot of work and a lot of education, a lot of public education to say, hey now here's, here's this model that we want to use to say selling sex is not illegal um, and it's a way to combat trafficking. I, I mean it would, it would be a lot of work. <laughs>